So, you, uh, how'd you get the scan of his face? Just pictures, a front and side picture of their face, and then you bring it into a face generating program that that generates a face from the front and side pictures, and then you kind of dial in a little. You, you can alter it to make it more what you want, what you're looking for. It's not perfect. Nothing's perfect, but it gets pretty close. And then with a Dremel tool, you can. Uh, deburr all this and really smooth it out with a with a little grinding tip on a on a Dremel. And then you got to prime it, and what, the priming is an in interesting because you want to hide all the sins of the three D print because the three D print's not perfect. So, um, so you have to do multiple layers of primer. And I found a high build primer which works really good at Home Depot, mm. and um, and that really fills in the gaps crack filler and stuff so what yeah we, what plastic was this uh, printed in? this is a this is a pla something vegetable based plastic and this print this this print right here and i've also found that it's it's better to go on a slower speed um that way the printer doesn't miss or skip steps that translate through the rest of the print so I went at 40 millimeters a second for the print and 40 millimeters a second for the travel. So nice and slow, and these guys take about six and a half hours a piece. And this guy here was about nine and a half. Just a big nude. And I finally tried to get hair. I finally did hair, which was kind of cool. Uh, I was miffed on the hair for the other figures, so they're all wearing hats. But then I got mold and put hair on this guy, and it actually turned out pretty cool. Lots of lots of things you got to do with them to get that hair to work, and you have to erase. You know, the 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 face program has has teeth and mouth and tongues and um, the, a, a throat. And it all represents holes, so you have to go inside of the face and erase all that stuff and patch all the holes up afterwards in order to get a solid print. Because only with a solid print can you tell it how thick to make the wall. Otherwise, it's just going to print what it feels is the thickness of the wall. It won't allow you to, to do that. So, so yeah. This was my Christmas gift. We're now, what, a few weeks late? <laughs> but everybody's cool. It's going to be worth it. A unique, unique little Christmas gift.